All right, let's cover drill number three, the long range curriculum. In this one, we're gonna be walking in a middle stance and we're gonna be doing angle threes. So here's how it works. Start that long range stance, then I'm gonna go slide, slide, just like in 1A. I'm gonna step to a sideways middle stance. I'm gonna hit flat line right here. Boom. Then, same thing again, slide, slide, step to sideways middle stance, and boom, flat line right there. I can do the same thing on the way back. Slide, slide, step back to middle stance, pop. Slide, slide, step backwards, and pop. All right, now we cover drill three. Let's go over two things to make sure it's done like a pro. Number one is hand foot timing. We don't want you to step and go at the same time. Just like your song of Taekwondo, we fire the second we land. So hold it back and boom at the last second. All right? Pro tip number two on the three. The elbow has to stay behind this at all times and it should look like you are benching. Two common mistakes for new long range students. Number one is sending the elbow with the bow staff not behind it. That means when I hit the muscle's power, then if the bow staff, the elbow stays behind the bow staff, I hit like that. Number two is when students get their hands off center to go for range. That's another mistake students make. So sometimes they'll slide, slide, they'll step, and they'll reach that hand for it. But if you take a look, my elbows aren't really behind the weapon where they need to be. So I need to trust my legs and my bow staff to create the range, and I need to tell my hands to stay in front of my chest. Boom, all right? So directly in front, not reaching, right in front. All right, step, step, and no, yes. All right, directly in front. So that's drill number three from the nine drills for long range bow staff. Go practice.